Hi everyone, and I'm back today with another Thomas Wooden Railway discussion on one of the most revolutionary and unique items in TWR history. These trains before you are from the thomaswoodenrailway.com website and are known as the My Custom Engine. These trains can be detailed and personalized to your heart's desire, including your choice of name, number, and color, among many other things. I'm going to show you all just a few of the available options and combinations that I've created, and later I'll explain the future of these unique trains as far as my Thomas Wooden Railway series goes. The My Custom Engine line was announced in August of 2014 on the official Thomas Wooden Railway website, and I bought these items approximately one year later. So far, there are three choices for the style of your train. Friendly Steamy, which looks very much like Charlie from Thomas and Friends. Helpful Steamy, which has some similarities to the first version of Peter Sam. And Spunky Steamy, which is without question a distant relative of Scruff it seems. All three engines are available in five colors. Blue, red, green, purple, and silver. As you can see, I have some duplicates of the same engine in different colors, and this has allowed me to see the minor changes that occur with each model. As you saw in the beginning, all custom engines come in a box with a book that allows children to read along and play. As of the making of this video, there are four book options. The regular storybook, a Christmas theme book which features a snowy cranky on the cover, a Four Seasons book with your custom engine at the works with Kevin, and my personal favorite, a 70th anniversary edition with a decorated Knapford station in the background. Notice how on all of the covers, the number of the engine is cleverly concealed so that these can be mass produced. Best of all, the books are made out of a thick material that allows them to be opened and set up, so that your custom engine can travel through the unique story according to your specific book. Also included are some generic character cards that are a nice throwback to a simpler time in TWR history. Now I'm sure all of you want to know what I've named my engines and what numbers I've given them. Let's start with the friendly steamy engine, which I have a bunch of in different colors and numbers. Actually, the only color engine that I'm missing from this group is purple. Here's friendly steamy number one, which I've named Milo. I've given him the number 35 and he has a gold dome up top. I actually have a second Milo that was sent to me by accident, as I originally ordered Milo in red but received this green one instead. So these two engines are exactly alike with the same number and name, but one's red and the other one's green. I also have a silver friendly steamy that I've named the Silver Bullet. He carries the double zero number, and my original plan was to put Spencer's tender with this train to make him a tender engine, so that he's different from his counterparts. I'll talk about this blue friendly steamy in just a little bit. Moving on, here are my two helpful steamy engines. The blue one is named Hamilton, and the purple one is named Remington. Unlike my two versions of Milo, I intend for these engines to be completely separate individuals even though they share the same body type. Hamilton's number is 81 and Remington is 82. My idea behind these two engines is that they're somehow related, whether it's brothers or cousins or something like that. That's why the two have somewhat similar names and numbers. And moving on to our final custom engines, here are Malcolm and Angus. I actually made a mistake with these two and gave them the same number, 07, but I can assure you that they're individual engines. Both of these guys are of the spunky, steamy design, and you can easily tell this because they look very similar to Scruff. Malcolm is painted red and Angus is purple. On an interesting note, Angus's color appears slightly darker than my purple helpful steamy Remington. I don't know if this is a mistake or if there is actually some small changes like this made on purpose. As I've promised, I've saved the best for last. This friendly steamy is a special one to me. He has the number 24 on his side and his name is actually Keekray. Well, it's technically Keekray dash my real name, so that's why I can't show the bottom of this train.
This engine not only represents my YouTube channel, but also me as an individual, and therefore it's become one of my prized items in my collection. Overall, these custom engines are certainly unique. There are actually more options that you can add online, such as streamers and snow details, and even Sir Topham Hat in the cab of your engine. The normal price for each of these trains is $40, but I waited a while until they went on sale for $20. That's how I was able to get so many of these at one time. In my opinion, $40 is definitely a lot for such a simple train that's just a repainted version of Charlie, but it's the custom aspect that drives the price up. From what I've heard, these make-it-yourself engines are quite popular, and I'm sure little kids will have a ball if they were to receive an engine with their name on it. I think the real weakness in this toy is the lack of more options, styles, and colors. I'm hoping this problem will be fixed in the future and I would love to see more versions of these trains. Maybe even diesels and tender engines can join the lineup one day with new colors such as pink or orange. And I know most of you will ask, are you going to introduce these engines into your series? As of right now, I have no plans on doing so. I like to keep my series on track with what the Reverend W. Audrey and his son Christopher created, as well as taking inspiration from the TV series here and there. However, one day I would like to create a second series featuring all of these custom engines. But right now, I'm limited with what I can do because there are so few models and variations out there. But that's my hope anyway. I'd like to use these engines in a future series that is completely different from the one I'm doing today. But when that series gets going is another matter. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all soon.